All right, today we're going to be installing a fax modem in a Toshiba EBN model. Uh, this will go for just about any of the EBN models and the EBN2 models. Uh, so that will be like from a 2505 all the way up to a 5005 AC and it will uh, work as well in the black and whites. Now what we're going to be installing is this board right here in the back of the machine okay to do that we're going to need to pull off this back panel and there'll be screws right here and here and we'll just start by pulling all the screws out i'm going to leave that top one so it doesn't fall that panel and then we'll lean it back and then we'll lift it up and when we go to set this back in these little notches right here and right there will go into to this little notch right here okay and then the other one will just go over there and I'll show you that when we go to put it back in then we're going to pull this panel and there's one screw and it's got a little arrow right there that for the screw that you're going to pull pull that out and then this whole panel slides over to the right and comes right off now where we need to put this fax modem is right here so we'll just take our fax modem and we're going to have a screw here, 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 and here. And then we'll just set it up in here like this. Uh, let me show you. Right here, here, and here, and here is where this board is going to go up against. Okay. So we just lay it in here like this, just like that. And then we're going to put our four screws in. And you do not crank these down. You just want them snug. So you'll see, I'll let the screwdriver turn in my hands if anybody's using an electric screwdriver. We just want these snug. Okay. Now, I'm sorry, before you can put this in, it's going to have some covers that look like this. And they will be located right here and here. And you'll have to pop those two out. You do that by taking, easiest way to do it is take a flat screwdriver and you'll reach down in here and press on the top of it. And then this will pop out. Okay, so you'll reach into the top right there, press down on it, and then this, this little square will pop right out. Okay. Now, we need to connect these two wires right here, one USB and one plug. You'll notice that there's two USBs and there's two plugs. One right here, one right here, and two USBs, one there and one there. Easiest way to remember this is they go to the right. So this will go into the USB to the right, and out of these two, this will go to the right on that connector. This is for a second modem. So to the right on both of these plugs. Then we have a little speaker. It has a notch on this side and two little clips. And what we'll do is we'll put that notch, that notch right there, back into that notch right there. So it'll go in like this. And then you'll just press these little tabs in right there. Okay, um, you can work this up underneath here, these wires, you don't have to, but it makes for a nice clean look. Right there. And like that. Okay. Now she's actually in there. You're good to go. Now all we have to do is put the panels back on. 
and you'll notice that there's a little notch right here, here, and right here, okay? And that's going to go right there. These two notches are going to go in these, this one hole up here. This plate needs to be on the top up here. So you'll come down on top like that. Get these notches to where they're in behind the metal plate. And then you want to make sure you get that other one over here in the corner until this hole lines up. Then we can put our screw back in. And then we can put our back plate back on. And remember, we're going to angle this so that these little notches will go down at the bottom so that it sits just like so. Okay, and then we'll hold it up here. And I generally will put this center one in and I'll just leave it loose so that all the rest of these holes will line up. So I'll just put them in and come back and tighten them down later because if you if you tighten one down, then you're not going to be able to get the other ones in. And don't forget about this one. Everybody always forgets about this one down here at the bottom. Okay. Now that is how you install the fax modem and that is going to be the mechanical side of it. There is um, in the service mode how we would clear out the memory for this particular modem because we pulled it from another machine. If you're buying a brand new one, you will not have to do that. And that's pretty much it.